Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I am your host, John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for just giving us a mind to pray, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord, for the people there in the Midland uh, County, Michigan. Lord God, Lord, uh, there in Edenville, Michigan, Lord God. We pray, Lord, for all the victims, Lord God, Lord, that is dealing with the flood, Lord God. We pray, Lord, that you will comfort hearts, Lord God, Lord. And, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would just help them out, Lord, in a very special way, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, for those that are um, that don't know you from the free part of their sins, Lord God, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would just uh, touch hearts, Lord God, Lord. Deal with minds, Lord God, Lord. And, Lord, we pray, Lord, for this broadcast, Lord God, Lord, in a very special way, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would anoint this broadcast, Lord God, Lord. Anoint each face, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would just bind up the enemy, Lord. We pray a rebuke against the devil right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord. We ask all these things, Lord, in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. And this is the way to eternal life coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We appreciate each and every one of you that has tuned in to this podcast. Um, For all those that are um, here in Michigan, we pray for you. Praying for the victims that are out there at this um, uh, there in uh, Eatonville, uh, Michigan. They have just the 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 dam there has broken. And has flooded out the cities where they were forced to evacuate. We pray for those victims out there. We pray for the victims that are there in Florida. Dealing with the wildfire. We're also praying for those who who nearly lost their lives there in Los Angeles, California. Praying for you all over there as well. And and for everyone, we're praying for for speedy recovery. Those that are still dealing with the COVID-19, we're praying for you. And I know that they say, well, we'll get this through this together. Well, in a sense, we are going to get through it together. And you know what? And, and the God is still on the throne. And he is still able to get us out of any situation that we face. No matter what the situation is, God is able to get you out of that situation. And so and at this time, um, we are going to conclude with today's uh, sermon. And uh, But before we conclude for today's sermon, um, we pray that this particular song will be a blessing and an encouragement to you. Uh, we're going to actually going to um, um, bring back the song, God is Still on the Throne. So and I feel that this song will be a blessing to, to you all. So we pray that this song will be a blessing. Uh, So the title of this song is called God is Still on the Throne. We appreciate you. We're praying for you. We love you. And may the Lord bless and may he keep you. And I'll be back with the conclusion of today's sermon.
We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum listenership. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. But let me tell you something. You're going to have to give an account for what you heard from this message. You're going to have to give an account for everything that that he, of what he said when he said it. You're going to give an account. When the, he, when the hero is here to rescue you, to mend your broken heart, you know you're broken. You know you're, you're sad. You know you ain't, you're miserable all inside. The true hero brings, in, brings the drooping heart and make it cheerful. That's what the true hero do. The true hero not only physically heals, but he mentally heals and he emotionally heals. Some right now have gone through sexual harassment. Some right now have gone through sexual assault. Some have been been in abuse relationships. Some have been child molested. Some been, been, been bound by drugs for so long. And there is no hope. You can go through all the AAs and, the, and, the, and all the anonymous, all you want to, but it will never free you from what is what the hero can do. The first responder. The first frontliner. Because guess what? The hero was the frontliner. Listen to me and listen to me good. I'm almost done. I know you're getting tired of me and uh, I might be a little long-winded, but that's okay. Because I'm pouring out my heart to you. I'm telling you about the hero. I'm telling you about the true hero of all. He is your responder. He is the frontliner. Because guess what? He He was the frontliner before there was any frontliners out here. He was the first. He made you in his image. He wants a relationship with you. He wants wants to resurrect you from the dead state of sin. He wants to break every yoke, every chain, knowing good and well that you can't do it of yourself. He is here to make you every withhold. The true hero will tell you the truth, will never mislead you. The true hero never lets you down. Let me say that again. Maybe somebody didn't even hear me good. The true hero never lets you down. He is always there for you when you need him the most. He is always there for you. That's why the Bible says he will never leave you nor forsake you. When friends forsake you, doctors tell you that there is no hope for you. Man has the first say. Excuse me. God has the first say. Man don't have the first say. They man can say all they want to say. Doctors can say all they want to say. But God has the first say. He got the middle say, and he got the last say.
The true hero of all is saying, will you come to me? Celebrity. I'm the one that gave you this, gave you your gifts, and he wants, the, he wants your gift to be used of him, to win others to him. That's what the hero, that's what the hero does. The hero makes himself of no reputation. He's more than just courageous. He's more than just an admirer. He's more than just what he achieves. He's more than that. He can be everything that you want him to be. The great I am. Will you take him today? Will you take him today? Please don't turn the hero away. And the psalm poet says, without him, how lost would I be? I want every head bow and truly every eye closed. I don't want you looking at you. I don't want to look. I don't want you looking at somebody else. Turn off the TV. Turn off Facebook. Turn off Instagram. Turn off Twitter. Turn off any distractions. No matter what the distraction is, put the dog away, or put the cat away, or put whatever pets you got. Put them away. Put the children to sleep. Or if the children are listening, let the children listen to this message. And listen to me, good. The hero is here today. I want every head bowed. Truly every head bowed. Don't be don't be saying, well, he, you're on the you're on the you're on this podcast. I can't how would you know I'm head bowed? No. I'm telling you every head bowed and every eye closed. Don't let nothing distract you. Don't let these uh, don't let text messages because let me tell you something the, the devil is uh, good about distractions. Oh, the, oh, this busted, or all these other distractions. Put those distractions to the side and listen to the voice of God. My friends, the hero is here. Do you want him to be the hero of your life? No, 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 none of this, all this speaking, I'm going to tell you something. This speaking in unknown tongues is of the devil anyways. This is not no speaking in unknown tongues. The speaking of unknown tongues is not the evidence of the Holy Ghost. And you know why? Because let me tell you something. The Holy Ghost do not lead in confusion. The Bible says that he is the, he, he leads and guides you into all truth. He's the one that leads. He's the one that guides. The Holy Ghost does not bring confusion. So when you speak in so-called other language, that is confusion. When, you, when you're hearing me talking to you right now, this is not no heavenly, so-called heavenly language. This is the word of God. This is the Bible tongue. Bible tongues means a language and a dialect. When I'm speaking to you, you will walk away with an understanding. So every head bowed, every eye closed, and examine your life. Is it you, Lord? Is it me, Lord? Excuse me. Is it me, Lord, that, that, that needs his help? I'm the one that's hurt. I'm the one that's angry. I'm the one that's impatient. I hate everybody else, but what do I hate myself? Can I forgive myself? If you want to be truly saved from your sins, tell God this. Don't say this. You can say it any way you like to. Lord, free me from this condition. Lord, I acknowledge that I need help. Lord, I'm acknowledging that I need you more than ever. You are my hero. Rescue me from this condition. Lord, I'm coming to you right now. 
I want you to be the head of my life. Not, I don't want to, I ain't talking about the, it's not my mama, it ain't my preacher, it ain't my brother or my sister or my husband or my wife or my, or my mama or my daddy or my auntie or my uncle. It is it's not my grandma, it ain't my grandpappy, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Lord, please be the hero of me. And as I pray today, whatever, I don't know what, you, what you're going through right now. I don't know what, what, what your, your condition is. But right now, Father, I thank you, Lord God. Lord, we pray, my God, Lord, for the listeners out there, Lord. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord, that you would just deal with their hearts, Lord. Lord, you know what they stand in need of, Lord. We don't know, Lord, but Lord, rescue them from whatever they are going through right now. They need the hero. They need their hero right now, Lord. They need their first responder. They need their frontliner. Lord, you are the frontliner. You are the hero. You are everything, Lord God. Lord, come to them, Lord God. Be head of their life, Lord God. Lord, if they're not saved, Lord God, Lord, we pray right now, Lord, that you would just humble their hearts right here and right now. And Lord, they're the ones that stand in need of prayer, Lord God. Lord, I'm praying for myself, Lord. Lord, continue, continue, Lord, to be the hero to me. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord. Praise you for being our hero. In Jesus' name, amen. May God truly richly bless and may he keep you. I'll be back in just a moment. May God truly bless and keep you. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com to eternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuous episodes. And now, here is John Gill with the final thoughts. you've heard the message you heard this word the true hero of all I don't know what anybody out there is going through right now I don't know but only God knows what you're going through only God knows what you in need of right here and right now don't wait don't put off what you can do right now Don't wait. When you wait, you will procrastinate and procrastinate. Don't let it be too late. Your first responder, your first frontliner. We talk about it, that ye may know him in the power of his resurrection. He is here for you today. 
Whether it be if you heard this tonight, whether you heard it in the morning, whether you heard it in the afternoon, or whatever day you've heard it, the hero is here for you today. He is here for you right now. Your frontliner is here. He's ready to heal you right now. Not talking about natural healing, but he wants to heal your emotions. He wants to heal your mind. Whatever you need healing you in, he is here for you today. Will you come? Will you come? You know that he is, he is here for you. You know that he wants to be your, the Lord of your life. That we just talked about it, that we may know him. Do you want to know him and the power he gave? He gives you power. The same healer is here to give you power. My friends, he is there for you. He's there when nobody else is not there. He's your mother, he's your father, he's your friend. He's the provider. The great I am and the great I am is here for you today. Will you come? Where are you at, whether you're driving, listening, whether you are at the airport waiting to get on the plane or wherever you might be, whether you're at home, whether you are in, uh, at your job or wherever you are, the, he the hero is there wherever, you, wherever you're at. Omnipresent, he's everywhere. And he's here for you right now. Wherever you, you uh, if you are seeking, seek him with all your heart. Going to church is good, but it will never fix what your problem really is. Until you acknowledge what the problem is, you'll never get healed. You'll never get free. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the Bible says, she shall bring forth a son, Matthew 121, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for Jesus saves his people from their sin. Jesus' people are saved from sin. Do you want to be free from sin today? Well, what is repentance? The Bible says, godly sorrow worketh repentance. That's Bible definition of what repentance is. It's godly sorrow. It's a brokenness. It's humility. You got to be humble to be saved. While the inspiration is here, you gotta be, you gotta have inspiration to get saved. And it takes the same inspiration to stay saved. While he is near, the Bible says, love and kindness have I drawn thee. God is drawing you. If he's drawing you right here, right now, why not humble your heart? Why not give up the sin business and get it right, right here? Don't do it because it's a fad. This is not a fad. Holiness is a way of life. It's not a religion. It's a way of life. You read a holy Bible. And God wants you to be holy. The Bible says be holy. For I am holy. He wants, he wants you to be holy in your conduct, in your, in, your, in your character. The hero is here for you. The true hero is here for you today. Humble your heart. Humble your mind. Open up your heart. I don't know what you're searching for. I don't know what you were seeking. But God knows what you're seeking. He knows what you need right now. Give him a chance. And I promise you, my friends, you will never regret it. And if you have given your heart and life to him, let me tell you how to do it. The ABC of salvation, first of all, is more than just ask. You've got to acknowledge that you need help. And then you ask. Lord I, need, uh, Lord, I need you. 
one. Two, believe that he just died, and not just he just died, but believe that he died on the cross for your sake. Truly believe within your heart. And then C, confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. The hero is here. Will you come? If you don't know what to pray, pray this. I'm sorry, God. I truly am sorry for everything I have done. If you would forgive me of all my sins and teach me, Lord, how to live just like you in this present world, Lord, I will give, I will dedicate the rest of my life to you. And if you would pray that prayer with, if you pray that prayer or something similar to that, I want to hear from you. Email me at way, uh, contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or go on to our Facebook page and post the thing saying, I got saved. Or I rededicated my life to him. Or God has healed me or whatever. We would like to hear from you. Or on our Facebook page at Way to Eternal Life uh, 53. Facebook.com, Way to Eternal Life 53. We would like to hear from you. And let me tell you something, my friends. We tr I truly love you out there with all my heart. And I'm praying for each and every one of you all. I may not know you by name, but I do, uh, but I do know that you need, you, we, we are praying for you. To our first, our true responders that are out there right now, we are praying for you. We love you. But give your heart and life to him. It's time to come back to God. And once again, there is a way to eternal life. May the Lord truly richly bless and may he keep you. Thank you for listening. And may God bless and keep you.